Bonjour and good morning. We are up bright and early again. Um, we're at the train station in plenty of time <laughs> again. Uh, unless the train's already left, but I don't think so. We're heading via train today to Besançon, where we start the next stages of our journey. Uh, from there, we'll essentially walk most of the Via, which is very exciting. And we're feeling very keen about that. We've just jumped off the train. Uh, we travelled from Chalons. We're on our way to Besançon, but we've stopped in a little town called Chalmont. Uh, within like an hour and a quarter, hey Rondo, we seem to go from flat farmlands to sort of mountainous, hilly sort of country, uh, and the villages have sort of changed. Very quaint. Yeah, and very historic. Bonjour. Uh, we, <laughs> we have made it to Besançon. This is a really exciting moment. I've been looking forward to this time, looking at this on the map. Okay. And here we are. Mm. And we have just arrived through mountains and gorges and gone through tunnels. I'm a bit scared about the mountains that we have <laughs> behind us. Because um, we'll be walking those in a day or so. And they lead into Switzerland. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> anyway, yeah. we're going to go and explore and find our accommodation. Yeah, it's the birthplace of Victor Hugo. Okay. Um, uh, it's on the river Doub, I think. Doub. Doub. <laughs> I'll let you know how to say that a bit later. Because <laughs> I'll have that wrong again. Uh, yeah, and we're staying in a, a diocese house. Um, yeah, hopefully that... <laughs> Will be a positive experience uh, after our last quick accommodation <laughs> change yesterday. We'll let you know. Yeah. See you Stay soon. Tuned. We're just walking over the bridge uh, across the river oh, into Besançon. Yes, mm. and this is what we're looking at. Can't Let's have a look their down eyes. there. What sort of building is that? It's like a fairy tale. It is, and that building runs right across the top there and back and then down this street. Who knows what we will find. Hopefully our accommodation. <laughs> we are in the middle of this and so on. And this is the area that Victor Hugo was born and grew up. We're yet to find his statue. Not sure I will do soon. This is the street our accommodation is in, in Besançon. We're actually staying in an old seminary that's no longer used as a seminary and it's now a diocese centre. Look at these gates. Whoa, diocese centre that is used as a conference room, conference facility. Um, we'll just have a look here from the outside. Our room is, it is on the third floor, but it's on the other side of this structure. So we'll um, try and take some video from the inside in the morning. Just come out from dinner and there's another French protest going on. They love a good protest. It is Les Mis. We are in Besançon too. This is the centre diocesan uh, in Besançon. That's our room somewhere up the top there. Hi Rhonda. It's evening. Just come back from dinner 
and the big protest. The French people can really sing. Uh, yeah, this is an amazing building and we're fortunate to be staying here for the next two nights. Bonjour. Good morning. We are in Besançon and having breakfast this morning in this magnificent old building. Breakfast in France is bread. Russell's favourite. Baguette. Baguette. But you can't beat a baguette. They make a great baguette. <laughs> well, I've worked out the trick to blending in in France. Ah. Yeah. You buy a baguette, you put it under your arm, <laughs> and you walk around. <laughs> It's a national pastime. It's true. And it's about four o'clock onwards, five o'clock yes. onwards. Yes, yes. <laughs> the baguettes come out. They've all we've got them under their arms. <laughs> tell you what, though, they're really good. <laughs> <laughs> Au revoir. Yeah, au revoir. Market day in Besançon. Beautiful. Ooh la la. We're having a rest day in Besançon before we head off walking through the rest of France and into Switzerland. Um, yeah, there's a lovely walk that goes all around the River Dubes, which basically encircles the city. So we'll be exploring that today and the citadel. Our, our pilgrimage is in grave danger. Uh, we need to find our way out of France because uh, there's just too many pastries and quiches and things with chocolate. It is incredibly dangerous. Um, oui, oui. Ooh, la, la. It's hard to walk past those stores when you're walking. Mm. Mind you, we've had some days where we haven't walked past a food store in 30 kilometres. So, yeah, it's uh, nice being in a place where there's mm. lots of options. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, la, la. <laughs> Bonjour. Bonjour. I'm just Bonjour. wondering... Wandering back from dinner in Besançon. Uh, we've had a great rest day here, haven't we? We have. Yeah. It's been really nice. I'm being very careful not to trip over. <laughs> so you talk, Russell. We've uh, basically walked. The, the, the town is sort of on a circle of the river, if that makes sense, like on a loop of the river. And there's a track that goes all the way around. So we've walked all the way around. We've walked up to the citadel at the top. Um, eaten too many pastries. Oh my goodness, yeah. the pastries. I've even got one in Russell's hand. That's for breakfast. <laughs> Rhonda didn't have enough, so she had to get another one. <laughs> um, it's a citrus one. It's meant to be yeah. healthy, I'm sure. We're hitting the Via again tomorrow. We're heading to Ornans, um, and very excited about that. It's supposed to be a very scenic walk. Beauties. And they call Ornans, Rhonda tells me. What's they call that? it the Little Venice. Little Venice, yeah. I believe it's called. So I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah, so I'm just going to do a bit of a spin so you okay. can see. Oh, there's a car here, but that's okay. It's just gorgeous. And behind every door, there's somebody's house. And they park. Really nice. All right. Yeah, so stay tuned and we'll be seeing you tomorrow. Really recommend Besançon. It's beautiful. Really lovely. Mm -hmm.